Hi guys, welcome back to DIY Agric, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So today is another day in the day of our day old chicks, the ones I got to show you guys how to brood from day old to maturity. So if you are just joining us on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, you want to hit the subscribe button so that you can see our subsequent videos and also the ones I've done before now. If you have interest in poultry and you want to know how to raise day old chicks or you want to learn anything in poultry generally, then you want to be a part of this community so today uh, i've got their water here today is day five precisely i shot a video on day one and day two sorry i was not able to shoot on day three and four so today i've got in my hand something that a lot of you don't know or you don't use and some of you that use it you use it late you, you, you use it late um in the production so this is actually a calcium supplement and the one i got this time is uh it's called default so this is it all you need from this is just um it's just one meal to one liter of water so this is three liters of water now at this age these birds are actually drinking about six liters a day six liters a day yesterday it was uh, 5.8 liters altogether so i'm guessing about six to six point two liters maximum today depending on the weather also so i'm going to be adding these three mules this is three mules I don't know if you are seeing it, but I want to guess you are seeing it. So this is three meals I'm going to be adding to this water. And I'm going to stir gently. You'll be surprised when you see the chicks. If you have been watching, if you have been following from day one, you'll be surprised when you see them today because they have actually changed. And that's one of the beauty in raising broilers. You can actually leave them in the morning and by the time you are back in the evening, they have increased in size. Before adding this um, calcium supplement, I've actually added a pinch of multivitamin. The Vitalite I chose, I've added a pinch of it just to help them. Possibly tomorrow they will be undergoing their first vaccination, the Lasota. I'll try and get the vaccine this evening. So this is the water and I'm going to be giving them and also showing you our cheeks so you can see what they look like now. They are actually bigger than you left them. They are bigger than the last time you saw them. They are thirsty. They've been out of water for about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to give them this and um, show you everything. So let's continue. There are a couple of other things I want to tell you today. There are a couple of other things I'm going to be showing you. So let's continue. Okay, so I'm going to turn half of it inside this and then serve them. If you notice, I've removed the flat tray feeders. Uh, there were two flat tray feeders inside the brooder guard before. So I started by removing one so that I won't stress the ones that have been eating solely from the flat tray feeder. So I tried to let them get used to the flip top and now i've removed the flat trays completely this is the five what are they still doing uh with the flat tray feeders so i'm going to be showing you the beds now <clears throat> so this is what we have these are the beds these are the chicks they are very thirsty i can see uh the weather the weather was um you can see they are rushing the water the weather was kind of friendly it's um it just stopped raining so i believe they shouldn't be stressed that much it's just that i i replaced the feed i gave them fresh feed so i know they must have all eaten and they will want some water so that's that for those of you who are just uh watching for the first time probably or you had me talk about it before right here you can see some black um stuff in the in the brother guard it is charcoal it is charcoal earlier i was well, earlier when i was preparing this place i actually made a video where i taught people how to use charcoal as part of the bedding as it absorbs so much moisture as a matter of fact uh, it's not that um 
it's not that important, it's not that necessary for this stage. But when the poop becomes much, when they are about three weeks old, you will see the effects of the charcoal, especially when you are able to turn the litter off, soon, you will see the effect. So, another thing is, for those who have been working from day one, you notice I didn't use paper on the floor. I didn't use paper. And um, even though I encourage people to use paper at times, I also make this um, I also make this known. The reason why I didn't use paper here because I don't feel it is necessary. Why? What I do is I try as much as possible to be selective with my um, wood shavings. So I purposely select the ones that I use inside here. If it is needed, I sieve it inside a big basket and remove all the small particles, smaller particles and the dust there. So it remains just these big ones. That's what I actually do. And except you have gotten a vulture in place of uh, a cheek or in place of cheeks, your cheek should not be willing to eat up this thing no they shouldn't eat it up especially when they have feet also there and if at all i want to use the paper what i do is i just use it for two maximum of three days what am i even doing after three days with paper so i found that a lot of people still use paper even up to like 10 days or so that is bad that is bad because the papers will get soiled very quickly and if your cheeks are getting in contact with their soil with the poop soil on the paper it's just an avenue for infection. So you don't want to prevent them from eating shavings and then you get them infected. Come on, Max, stop that. That dog is stubborn. So you don't want to get them infected with uh, a disease just because you are trying to prevent them from eating up the shavings. So try as much as possible to give them to put the big, bigger shavings in that place where they are going to start, where they're going to be starting up, especially for the first few days. If you're using papers, don't let it exceed three days. Three days is good, it's good. And try as much as possible to replace the papers as often as possible. If you're using newspapers, just replace it every day, you know, because it gets soiled very quickly. So that's another thing that I want to share. And finally, people have been asking me about the solar lamp to kind of show them how the solar lamp is, how to install it, what it's like. So I'm going to be showing you the solar lamp very quickly. Okay, so because a lot of people have been asking me to talk about the solar lamp that I use, which is a very important aspect of brooding, uh, I've decided to talk about it. And I've been with Sunking for a long time, yes. I think I bought the first product. This is actually the first product I got. The Sunking Pro 2 is the first product I got. And then I think I bought it for about 6,500 Naira, and it has a five years warranty. And I tell you, I've used this thing for six years, six good years. It just stopped working very recently and i had to get the sun king home 120 which is inside the house it has four lamps four bulbs i'm going to be showing you and because of this building i had to get the sun king home 60. home 60 has just three lamps this is what it looks like so this one has um three bulbs this is the engine you can mount it on the wall very easily you, you know yeah that's it so this is the charger the solar panel is on the roof of this place i think i showed when i was installing it some time ago so this is where you just charge it and then it has bulbs the lamps also have have their cord you can plug maximum of two here and you can also connect the lamps together i'm going to show you very quickly so this is so this is what a typical lamp connector looks like each lamp has this 
so you can connect another one to this point the light just continues and this is the second one i used two inside here two out of the three this is the second one this is the one i'm using so i connected that one to this one oh i won't be able to do this with one hand so i guess i gotta fix it later so out of the three lamps i'm using two here and i took the third one inside don't forget i said i have the om 120 inside which is four lamps so i took the third one of this one inside i also connected it to the connector of one lamp there so i have five inside the house so this is so good and it lasts you throughout the night i have not seen a solar technology for this price range that serves as good as something in terms of how long it can last you per day and how durable it is you know you can use this thing for over five years and that's awesome and you just pay the money once and everything is set everything is set you don't have to worry about light for your broilers and i tell you it is a very important part of brooding because at the early stage these birds need to eat as much as they can get because they are building their immunity you don't want to stress them you know when they run out of food it is stress on them just like babies do cry when they want food so these ones too they are stressed when there's no food around and they want to eat so you don't want that to happen it is very important to give them food all around and you need light to do that and in a place where you don't have steady or stable electricity you want to get yourself something like this so that you don't have to burn uh, a generator fuel and all that and with that home 120 the type that i have inside i tell you you can, can light up a 1000 capacity broiler house and that's good enough i think that's good enough so that's it guys the chicks are five days old and i've been giving you updates and i will continue to do that very soon i'm going to be showing you how we have had to lift the curtains and all that all the developments happening here i'm going to be showing you very soon so if you think you've enjoyed the video please give us a like and don't forget july 19 is my birthday and i want us to get to 10,000 subscribers so please hit the subscribe button if you're yet to do so bye